G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna to learn some fun facts all about space. Now, have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered what is up there? Beyond the clouds and way up in the distance, higher than the birds and the planes can fly? Well, that's called space. And it starts about 100 kilometers above the Earth where the shell of air around our planet disappears. It's full of stars and darkness and of course, the solar system. At the centre of the solar system is a star called the Sun. That's right kids, the Sun is actually a star. It's the largest object in the solar system. It's so big that over one million Earths could fit inside the Sun. But the Sun is considered an average sized star and it's just one of at least a billion trillion stars in the universe. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. The number is approximately a septillion. Have you heard of that before? That is one with 24 zeros. Can you even imagine that massive number? The sun is a very hot ball of hydrogen and helium gases and has a temperature of more than 15,600,000 degrees Celsius or 28,080,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also super bright. And it's important that you never look straight into the sun because it could damage your eyes. Even though the sun looks super close, it would take 70,000 years in our fastest spaceship to reach it. It's crazy. So the solar system is made up of the sun and everything that spins around it. There are eight planets, each with its own moon. There are also dwarf planets, and so many asteroids, comets, and other small icy objects that make up the solar system. However, even with all these things, most of the solar system is actually empty space. I think that's why they call it space. And did you know that space is completely silent? That's right, you could scream as loud as possible, but no one would hear you, and that's because there is no air in space. You may also wonder why astronauts float. Well, when things are in space, they don't have any weight, which means everything floats. And that's because there is no gravity in space. Because there's no gravity, astronauts are not able to burp. It's pretty funny, isn't it? So, back to the solar system. Do you know the names of all eight planets? Okay, in order from the sun, it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Good job, kids. The four planets closest to the sun are all made of rock and metal. The four furthest from the sun are balls of liquid gas. And even if we could travel to these planets, it wouldn't be possible to walk on them because they don't have any solid surface. Even though Mercury is the closest to the sun, Venus is actually the hottest planet with a temperature of about 475 degrees Celsius which is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's even hotter than the inside of an oven. All of the planets orbit or revolve around the sun. Earth takes 365 days. So that means one lap around the sun equals one whole year on Earth. Each planet is also slowly spinning on its own axis. It takes Earth 24 hours to complete a full rotation, which is a day, 24 hours. And as it rotates, part of the Earth is always facing the Sun. This part of the Earth experiences daytime, while the opposite side is facing away from the Sun, so it's in darkness, or nighttime. And that's how we experience day and night in a 24 hour period. Venus rotates on its axis very slowly, and it takes about 243 Earth days for Venus to rotate just the once, whereas it takes 225 Earth days for Venus to go around the sun. 
So on Venus, a day is actually longer than a year. Now space is very cold. It's around minus 270 degrees Celsius or minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Luckily, astronauts have those cozy looking suits to keep them warm, but these suits do more than just keep the astronauts warm. As there's no air in space, the space suit also supplies air to breathe, water to drink, and it even has a built-in toilet. A space suit is like a tiny spaceship for one. One of the closest things in space to Earth is the moon, a big ball of rock that travels around the Earth in a circle. You would have seen that during the night. The moon looks really bright. Well, the light isn't actually coming from the moon though. The moon is reflecting the light from the sun, which is why we can see it so clearly. Did you know that astronauts have actually been to the moon before? That's right, in 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from America, they flew their spacecraft for about three days into space and landed on the moon. They climbed out and became the first humans to walk on the moon ever. How amazing would it be to do that kind of moonwalk? Well, there you go, kids. So many fun facts about space, and there really is so much more to learn. I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson and learning all about the planets, the solar system, and the moon. We'll see you again this Sunday for another brand new episode of Aussie. Until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grade up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon, kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of